20 by 12 dry pour slab today. Let's get on it. Oh, here we go, folks. Miserable, cloudy, misty, foggy day out here on the homestead. Just looking at, it's pretty nasty today. Um, but I'm dodging all the weather that we've been having and today's it. So I've got a 100 bags of 80 pound cement and I am going to be tossing it right into this pit as a dry pour. Um, and oh, I can hear them howling now. Uh, haters, you can just keep watching if you want, comment like you will. You're probably already commenting. Um, but uh, for those that you know want to see a much simpler and proven, proven method of getting a pad down, um, watch this video and you know follow along. It's really simple, simple tools that you need. Let me flip you. I had to cover it because we've had nothing but dang rain here in Kentucky. But let me back up. Uh, metal rake, scree board, or a two by four, which is what I'm using, gloves. Uh, and if you wanted an edge, and yes, you can still use this nice edging tool on a dry pour. Absolutely, totally fine. And I'll show you. Um, I do have another video. I do have another video where I explain that. Um, it was the uh, the garbage can pad that I built um, at my other house, and uh, you could do the same same thing. You can edge it with that; it makes a nice rounded uh, edge on your on your slab, and looks pretty good. Uh, so you know there is some there is some differences, obviously, with dry pour versus wet pour, uh, but we're gonna get into that as we as we go on here. Um, but yeah, so. I'm going to flip you back again. I'm going to be taking bags just like this, tossing them in here. I got to still clean some of this up, uh, some veggies, um, because it's been, you know, so rainy uh, that they've they've emerged. And uh, today's supposed to be 57. It's not getting any sunnier, but it's supposed to be a lot warmer today. So we're going to clean this up and we're going to start just carrying bags in here, spreading them out, raking them out and going from there. Uh, so let's get on it without further ado. Well, this is essentially what I'm doing. Throwing three in a wheelbarrow at a time, wheeling them over, and just dropping them. That's it. And then we use that shovel, hack them open, dump them, toss the bags, and rake them into place. I want to show you guys something real quick, though, what I found, if he's still there. So I took this tuft of grass out from the bed here, and let's see if he's still there. Yup, that is one giant friggin' salamander, dude. He was hiding under that. I don't want to hurt him, so I'm gonna not put this tuft back on him. But anyway, that's what you see here in Kentucky in March. <laughs> is uh big guys like that so hopefully he can scurry off and find a new home but anyway cement bags cut them open rake them out fill your forms and then we'll get on to the to the next stage now i did lose oh it was this bag as you can see i lost it because my tarp and the plastic underneath of it leaked now that's hard. Hear that? That's a loss right there. Which is, let me flip you. Which is to my next point. So many people will say, oh, you can't do a poor. It's not gonna work. It's gonna work. And the only people that are gonna tell you it's not gonna work are concrete guys. Those are the guys, those are the ones that hit me up in my comments the most are the dudes that do this for a living and they don't oh, let me fix my camera here there we go they do this for a living and that's all they know and that's all they want to know and they don't want to lose business to people that you know 
uh, want to do this stuff themselves. This method is extremely easy, and I've explained this before. You place the ba bags, you cut them open, you dump them, you rake them out, you scree it like a, like it's wet concrete, which means, and I'll show you, which means smoothing out the top. And then you run a roller over the top of that, and it pushes the rocks down and brings the powder up. It makes a nice smooth finish. You soak it down with, not soak, you mist it very, very lightly with water from a garden hose, mist it so it doesn't leave pock marks all over the surface. And that makes a crust, and then you just keep rinsing it. Uh, every hour and a half, hour, hour and a half, two hours after that, and you just spray it down with the hose. Once that crust is formed on the top, you're not going to get any pock marks. See if I can do this one handed. Done. Okay. Whack them with a shovel, split them open, one handed, flipped over an 80 pound bag and just dumped it there. I'm going to do that to all of them, all the way across. Well, we ran into a little bit of a wrinkle today. Uh, my daughter got sick and uh, I had to hustle as fast as I possibly could. So <laughs> I didn't get it all. I mean, I got it all done, but I wasn't able to show everything, which was kind of a bummer because, you know, that was the whole point. <laughs> well, the whole point was get a pad made, but uh, I didn't get to show everything I wanted to show. But I did save one little thing. Um, but let's have a look at it. So, uh, there is some pebbles in there um, that I could not get. Uh, when I dropped the bags, they poofed and they went flying. There's a, let me see if I can even pick them up. Right there, there's some. Um, but I ramped up, as you can see, right over there. I ramped up a little bit just to, just to cut that gap. Uh, to get into the garage with my tractor back here so yeah that that's it and uh, I did put an edge on it um, just for just to show that you could I don't really care about it um, and then I'm gonna be misting this so I do have that part left so I am gonna finish doing the edge on it and it's just this really cheap this really cheap um, edge tool uh, you know, they make them out of all kinds of stuff, brass and, uh, well, this is a steel one, but yeah, they make them out of all kinds of stuff, but I'll tell you what I used on this, just to get it this smooth, right? Um, and it's not perfect by any means. Do I care that it's perfect? Not at all. But to get it this smooth, I simply used a two, like an 18 inch piece of two by four and the roll and the, uh, I used the 18 inch piece of two by four and the roller. That's all I used um, for the entire thing. I did use the, the long eight foot um, two by four uh, when I first did this first corner, this this corner right here. Uh, but I found that it was just, it was just clumsy to me. So I didn't do it. Um, I didn't keep doing it, I should say. Uh, so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this edge on here. I'll show you, I'll just show you real quick. Let me flip you around. Now, it's as simple as just getting it in there, okay? Getting it right up against the um, form and you just drag it. It's that simple. I mean, you can go as fancy as you want. You could sit there and take all the time you want to do it. I'm not doing that. I just wanted to show that you could put kind of an edge on this. 
you know, now that I started it, I'm going to continue it. But, uh, but that's all. And then I'm going to pull the hose out and I'll show you, you know, basically how you missed it and then what to do after that. And then we're pretty much done. All right. Now this, as long as about as missed as I could get it. And I started over here. And you're going to want to mist it just until it changes color. All right. And just keep going over it. You don't want it any heavier than that because it will make pock marks in your cement and your finish coat here. And that would be very, very bad. So I will go ahead and get this finished because I want to be able to concentrate. And I'll be right back. Well, this is going to be quick because it is really cold and very windy this morning but as you can see the sun has come out the clouds have parted the rain is gone finally and my pad is finished and I am currently standing on it um, I, I apologize for missing a lot of clips because of you know my medical emergency with my family member and uh, um, but I mean it's done and uh, it, it came out pretty good. I, I, I had to rush it too much at the end, and I, I was not satisfied at all with how the very end came out because I, I was moving too quickly. I'm going to move out of the wind here. Bear with me. Admittedly, it's not a great testament to what you can really do with a you know dry pour, but that's better. Okay. Yeah, now you can see me. Um... Yeah, it's not a great testament of what you can do with a, uh, with a dry pour, uh, but I needed the pad. Uh, it's done and it's in, and I'm, I'm happy with it um, overall. So I'm going to come up with another video of the kind of right after this one, kind of the uh, pros and cons of doing a dry pour system. Um, and I think you, you know, you'd get a lot of information out of that. Uh, like I mentioned, this, this project was very ambitious for me to do by myself, simply because it was 85 bags of 80 pound concrete. Uh, I did it in six hours, so I can tell you that you know, I was hustling uh, to get it out, you know, down, smoothed out. Um, I was, I was going to show you the piece of two by four I used for how I smoothed it. I didn't even use a trowel. But anyway, uh, so that's that um i hope you enjoyed the video uh as much as you could see of it um i will throw in one picture <laughs> that i managed to take uh while it was halfway through um and yeah it was it was it was a really tough day I was, this is two days later and uh you know i'm just now getting over being sore from it uh, mostly forearms hands and thighs uh, from uh squatting and carrying and all that so anyway um like subscribe you know share the video with others uh comment uh i i engage in the comments all the time so um hope you liked it um there'll be more because i got a front step to do and you know several other projects so you know follow along and uh you know hopefully you can learn something from what i'm doing and maybe you could teach me something all right thanks for watching